What's going on, people? How y'all doing? Hope everyone's having an amazing year, an amazing life. I'm doing great. Um, just wanted to do this video to touch base with you guys. Uh, you know, let you guys know a few things. Uh, so I, I guess regarding my last video, uh, my, my uh, entry into Thailand, the video was not removed. All right, the video was made private. It, so anyone with the link could still watch the video. I didn't remove the video. So you can stop with the messaging. Well, yeah, you know you're wrong, so you removed it. No, 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 no. The video is still viewable. I just want I just don't want the wrong people continuously watching that video and trying to get the wrong idea. All right. I just don't message me hate. I guess individuals with I guess individuals who had tried to make it into these these same countries that I'm getting into were refused and now they don't like it. Understand something. If you don't ask, you won't know. And this is my motto. So I go to these countries with it in mind that I could get sent back. <clears throat> so I fully comply with all the rules, all the paperwork, all the documents that they require me to provide in order to enter the country. I give them everything that they're asking. And they let me in. Um, now, mind you, me traveling international is because I no longer technically reside within the U.S. So there's no 21 day notice for me to say, oh, well, I want to go here. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Paris. I want to go, you know, wherever it is I want to go. I don't have to notify anyone as to where I want to go in order for them, in order for the U.S. Marshals to send out some bullshit green notice. All right. So if you reside in America and you want to go to a country, you need to understand that they're going to send out a green notice to your final destination. That's what's going to happen. You run that risk of getting sent back because you don't go about it the right way. Please don't make it my problem. Um, and like I said, I, I can't put out too much information in those videos because I don't want the wrong people to watch those videos and try to change policies, change laws based off of the information that I put out. If you want this information, you're going to have to message me and discuss it with me personally, uh, in which I am going to conduct some sort of a check just to make sure you are not involved with law enforcement or any sort of agency that's going to give me any hell or any hassle that I don't need right now. <clears throat> All right. Um, a lot of people are saying, well, the registry is for public safety, okay? Well, if it's for public safety, then there are a lot of other crimes out there that you need to be aware of and you need to remain safe as well. Why are you making, you know, anything sexual only about safety? You know, there's other crimes out there you should be well aware of being safe about just the exact same way as, as this. I mean, don't... It's, the logic is just ridiculous. And, and I could go, I could talk circles around anyone who wants to discuss this. I choose not to do it. So if your comments are going to be hateful or condescending or especially contradictive in any sort of way, I'm just going to delete them and I'm going to block you from commenting on any more of my videos. All right. I don't personally, I don't understand why people click on videos that they know very well they don't agree with. Stop wasting your time and go watch something that you want to hear. Stop listening to shit that you don't want to hear. All right. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss is um, the reason why I chose to leave America. Let's get something straight. I didn't leave America because I felt like traveling and I wanted a break. No. I left America because I wanted to benefit my situation, better my life, and quite frankly, I got tired of all the notification, the updates, all the, well, you got to let us know this and that, you got to tell us this, you got to tell us that so we can keep tabs on you. No, I got tired of that shit, all right? Me and my situation specifically is regarding a deferred adjudication. All right. Now, when I accepted my plea, 
I, I accepted a deferred adjudication, which would mean that I formally do not have any conviction if I successfully complete everything that they required me to do in that time frame. And I did. All right. That amount of time went by and I successfully completed everything. I've done all the classes, all the polygraphs. I've paid everything. I haven't been in any trouble. I haven't been a problem to anyone. I have fully complied with everything that I could possibly comply with. All right. I've given everything that I could possibly give. And in the end of all of that, more laws are coming into place. More uh, ordinances are coming into place that hand out additional punishments long after I've given everything that I could possibly give. I got tired of that shit, all right? And if you are on the registry or your family member is on the registry, I would highly encourage you to step up and try to do something about it. Now me, since I couldn't find any options, there's no better options within my own community, I decided to leave my community, all right? I packed and I left. I'm searching, I, was, I went searching for better options, ways off the registry because of my deferred adjudication, to be quite frankly, to be quite frank with the deferred adjudication, anyone with that, you should be highly upset, all right? Because it's not fair for you to risk starting the sentence all over again and risking the max in prison if it's not going to make any difference. You're just going to turn around and be like, well, no, even with the deferred adjudication, you still have to register because we still see it as a conviction. That's not right. That's not right at all. All right. It's not right. And if that's the case, well, maybe you might want to change. Maybe the government needs to change that specific language within the law. Don't sit here and tell me that in the end, it is formally dismissed, which it says in my court documents. It has been dismissed, discharged and dismissed. Don't tell me that you're dismissing it if it's still a conviction. Don't do that. It's not right. And I highly encourage anyone who's in that situation particularly to come forward and start speaking on that because it's not right for you to risk the sentence all over again within that, within that probationary period just if it's not going to matter at all. And a lot of these times, these, these prosecutors, these, these judges, <clears throat> they won't tell you. They won't say, hey, you're still going to have to register. You're still going to have to do this and that, this and that, even at the end of everything. No, they don't tell you that. I was told that I would have to register throughout the duration of my probationary period. Okay? <clears throat> Once I signed and accepted that, I go down to my probation to meet my probation officer and she's telling me, oh no, this is life. Well, that's not what the prosecutor just said. You know, I signed for something that I was told was way different. I felt like I had been I had been hoodwinked. I felt like I had been conned into accepting something that I didn't agree with. Um <clears throat> it's messed up. So I decided to leave America in pursuit of other options that would get me off of that registry because quite frankly, I had got tired of notifying everyone or being subjected to more punishments, more laws, you know, in, in different ordinances, state and federal and even city ordinances that would come into place. And we're talking every six months, something new would come into place to say, you can't do this, you can't do that, don't go here, don't go there. Got tired of it, all right? I, I wasn't going to do it no more. So I started looking into other options and I first thought, well, Germany, yeah, maybe I should, maybe I can go to Germany and, you know, meet people there and just tour and work either, either online or find something there, you know, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> that turned out to not be the case. I got to Germany and I enjoyed Germany. I just, I wanted to explore other options as far as different countries. So I, I had just been, you know, I'd spend a few weeks in this country, go to this country the next week. And I, I, I had just been bouncing around 
uh, basically deviating away from the plan, but at the same time, enjoying life. Uh, and specifically after the registry, all right? Now, upon doing all of that, I thought to myself, since my state sees deferred adjudication as a conviction, maybe there might be other states that might see it as a non-conviction and they will let me off the registry, maybe. You know, so I started looking into those options. Maybe I could go back to the states uh, where I can at least be close to my family, uh, at least in the same country as my family, but I won't have to continue to update and notify and do all this other dumbass shit. I could go on with my life as long as I stay out of trouble. So all 50 states, <laughs> believe it or not, but I, I'm pretty sure I emailed all 50 and I sent my document, my court documents, my uh, deferred uh, ruling, my discharge, my court document. I sent everything in an email to all of these states. And some states responded with, oh, no, 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 we see you as high risk. Other states were like, oh, no, 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 we see you as low risk. Uh, you'll come, but we won't make it public. Hell, there was even a few states that said, uh, with this deferred, we'll let you off. We won't, you, you won't be required to register in our states. I didn't know this stuff. You know, I've been dealing with the registry for a very long time. I thought that every state um, pretty much mandated that I would stay on the registry. Um, had I not left America, I still wouldn't know this stuff. So... I started looking into options to possibly go back to the to America, but would allow me to at least get off the registry and start over. So if you're gonna go the same route, I would highly encourage you guys to do that, to, to at least look into, you know, I, I guess the last few loopholes that might be left for you, um, even if it is leaving America or going to another state that's gonna be they call it state shopping. You know, one state might be more tough on people with sex offenses than the other state, like Florida is going crazy out there with the 2,500 foot rule. And then the people living under the bridge, there are other states that will allow you to live in a community. You just got to report, you know, you, if you decide that if you, if you're choosing to live like that, you can't blame anyone but yourself because you're not doing the footwork yourself to at least try to better your situation all right um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it for me right i left because i got tired of all the notification and i wasn't going to do it anymore and if i do return back to the united states i'm not going to return back to a system that's going to force me to uh continue to do to live the way that i was living before because I think I do believe that it's counterproductive and no other country operates that way. Um, yeah, I just, I decided to fix my situation, even if it meant leaving my family behind. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's it wasn't ideal. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. And that's all I'm saying, right? Now, if you're going to come to these countries, I'm always going to say it. Stay the hell out of trouble, man. Don't give anyone a reason to start looking at you specifically for anything sexual. Don't go to another country and be a pervert, of course. Keep your damn penis in your pants, I guess, would be the correct fucking term. <clears throat> um, don't be somebody that anyone would have to worry about. Um, what else? Oh, I saw a lot of the, uh, what was going on with the, the, the women against registry. Um, yeah, that's, I feel, I feel bad for those women. All right. I, I feel bad for that whole organization, but I will say that 
the way that that organization particularly is responding to that viral video is kind of not good, right? I mean, you can't just ignore it and just delete comments. You can't, you can't really just, I don't know. They, they want to hear you speak because they're reading your, they're reading the, the women against registries, I guess their Facebook page and then their, uh, their website information and they're looking up the 401c and seeing who's funding it or what, I guess. And the community doesn't like it. They don't have to like it. They're not going to, and they don't have to, right? They're not the ones giving money into it. So I personally wouldn't too much worry about it, but it would just be beneficial to at least speak and at least say, we're not agreeing with crime. We're not saying that sex offenses should be okay or acceptable by any means. But we do believe that the punishment should come to an end at some point. That would make more sense than deleting comments and not saying anything at all and giving people a reason to still troll you, all right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, I respect what Mr. Stephen Whitsett is doing over there in Germany and with his lawsuit, and I, I wish him the best with it. I really hope that he gets what he's seeking over there. It looks like he's doing the same. He's enjoying life just like I am here, after the registry, that is. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he, what, what he's doing, I, I really do admire what he's doing. As for the war organization, I would say to at least say something don't just ignore it you can't ignore the community they're going to continue to come for you or i don't know go a different route <laughs> i don't know but anyway hey that's pretty much it man i'm going to get this video uploaded and i hope i didn't say anything in this video that's gonna that that would upset any one of you is not my intention to upset any one of you I, I just wanted to give you those quick updates and let you guys know i'm doing fine and if you uh, have any issues with anything I just said, feel free to email me. My email is in the description. It's also on the about me section of the YouTube page. Uh, you can message me your question. Uh, but any trash talk, any anything like that will be deleted, all right? Because I'm not promoting any sort of hate. I'm not promoting any sort of crime, nor am I interested in dealing with any ignorant, people who want to click on the videos that they really have no business clicking on anyway all right uh but that's pretty much it guys um, i'll talk to you later peace